For me to be the Walter Payton Man of the Year for this organization, the Tennessee Titans, it's an honor. You know, knowing guys who've been it before me, the impact that they had in the communities, the work that they've done, and for me to be considered you know, with those names is such an honor. The Walter Payton Man of the Year Award is prestigious. And in my opinion, when I think about why Derek should win that award, it's about excellence on the field, and it's about you know, volunteer work and charitable work off. And it's really hard to not say the word excellence when it comes to what Derek's been able to accomplish. From long-standing records in high school to winning the Heisman, to what he's been able to accomplish with the thousands of yards of rushing in the league, it's just pure excellence. And it's not the only thing he's doing. He puts so much effort and time into taking care of other people in need. It's important to me to give back because I feel like it represents my family and what I grew up watching them do, something that I came from my heart and my, my family's heart that we all wanted to represent is just help the community, be a blessing to others, be a resource to kids and do anything I can while you know I have this platform and doing what I love. What does it mean for Derek to give his time to the Boys and Girls Club of Middle Tennessee? It means a lot. Our youth we serve today is always looking for someone that they can look up to. His conversations that he has with the youth, the time that he spends with them on the shopping trips, playing a simple uh, football game with them, they are excited and they feel appreciated because someone in his standings is coming by to share their time with them. I have a strong connection with the Boys and Girls Club just because I grew up being in that organization as a kid and doing the after school activities um, from academics to doing fun activities with the supervisors that work there and then going on the field playing sports. You know, I just you know had that connection with them because I was once I once was them and um, I feel like those kids, you know, they need somebody that can be a helping hand, be a blessing to them and um, I'm always willing to do that, especially for kids and for the youth because I feel like they hold a special place in my heart. Derek's incredibly charitable. He has a huge heart and he does a ton of work in the community, but a lot of people don't know about it. And I think that's pretty great because when it comes to giving back to a community, when it comes to being a resource to someone in need, it's not about media coverage, it's not about thank yous, it's not about social media taking off because they found out that he took care of something for somebody. He truly does it because he knows it's important, because he knows there's a need that needs to be filled. And I think the longer he stays in the league, the more he realizes that using this platform to showcase what he and his foundation can help accomplish and, and do for other people is a really great thing to publicize. It's why so many of us in his life want to be that mouthpiece for him, because the more people that know, the more people that want to help support him and make his initiatives grow tenfold. On January the 30th of this year, we got a call from the neighbor across the street and said the house just exploded. By the time we got here, the whole house was fully engulfed in flames. Derek Henry came in and was very eager to help and blessed me with a $15,000 check. We were able to go ahead and uh, buy us more clothes and stuff like that to uh, start over. I, I can never thank him enough for what he did for my family. Oh, the community is important and definitely want to have an impact um, on the city other than just playing football. I want to get my hands in the community, doing everything I can to help make the community better. And um, I hope I'm you know, able to make an impact not only on the field, but also off the field.